Let's have some fun with functions. In this video, we are going to look at several different aspects of functions, and we will use the graph we see here of f of x to help us answer parts a through f below. Let's take a look at part a. We are being asked to find the value of f of 3. If we had an equation for f of x, we would take the number 3 and we would substitute it in for the x value. Well, instead of an equation, we have a visual representation of f of x in the graph. So we are still going to substitute 3 in for the x value, except we have to get our y value by looking on the graph. So we know that 3 is the input value, which means we need to look in the graph for an ordered pair that looks like 3 comma something. We know the x value is 3, but we're looking for the y value. So on my graph, I'm going to go to 3 on the x-axis, and then I'm going to go down and meet the graph. And I see that the ordered pair 3, negative 1 is on the graph. So that means when my input value is 3, my output value is negative 1. So for part A, we say f of 3 equals negative 1. Now we're being asked to find the vertical intercept. Well, we know the vertical intercept is a point on the y-axis. That means we're looking for an ordered pair 0 comma something. The x value is 0, but we don't know the y value. So if I look on my graph, I can see on the y-axis, the graph is crossing at 0 comma negative 2. Make sure you're always writing intercepts as ordered pairs. It's an ordered pair. One of the numbers of the ordered pair should be 0. For the vertical intercept, it is 0 comma negative 2. Now let's take a look at the horizontal intercept or intercepts. Notice how there could be possibly two answers. For a horizontal intercept, now we know that the output value is zero, but we're looking for the input because a horizontal intercept is a point on the x axis. So I'm going to look at my graph and I see that there is a point on the x axis at four comma zero, but there's another point on the x axis at negative two comma zero. So I have two horizontal intercepts for this problem. They are negative two, zero, and four, zero. So the graph crosses the x-axis twice. Now let's look at part D. For what value or values of x is f of x equal to negative one? So this means there could be more than one right answer. So this tells me that the output value is negative one. So I'm looking for an ordered pair or maybe more than one ordered pair where the y value is negative 1, but I have to figure out what the x value is. So I'm going to go look at negative 1 on my y-axis, and then I'm going to imagine that I'm drawing a horizontal line across through the graph. The horizontal line touches the graph at two points. The first point is negative 1, negative 1, and the second point we've already seen before is 3, negative 1. So that means there's two values of x where the output value is negative 1 and those values are negative one and three. Now let's look at the domain. So for the domain, I wanna scan the graph from left to right, and I wanna see what all the possible x values are, or I want to see where the graph exists for x values as I'm looking at the graph from left to right. So as I go all the way to the left on my x-axis, I can see that my graph also continues towards the left. The arrow on the graph is pointing up, but it's also pointing to the left as it increases. So on the left side of the graph, I'm going all the way out to negative infinity. Now, as I continue towards the right side of the graph, I'm going out to positive infinity because the arrow on the right side of the graph, yes, it's going up, but it's also going out and to the right. So my domain for this graph would be negative infinity to positive infinity. Now let's take a look at the range. So for the range of this graph, I want to look at the graph from bottom to the top because the range is the y values. As I go towards the bottom on the y-axis, I don't go all the way down to negative infinity. This graph has a minimum value and the ordered pair at that minimum point is one comma negative three. Since we're talking about the range, we're only concerned with the output value. So the minimum output value on this graph for the range is negative 3. Now, as I work my way up, the arrows on the graph are increasing and pointing upward, which tells me the y values increase all the way to positive infinity. So my range for this graph is negative 3 with a bracket, 
comma, positive infinity.